Day in the life of a young professional started the day off with um, spending some intimate time with the Heavenly Father that I serve. It's always crucial for me to just read my Bible and at this point in time I was still studying the book of Job, getting to the end of it. But anyways, I was on my way to work. I was quite late this morning so I always have breakfast on the road. And yes, I need to work on my time management but you need to understand that my mind is always on go, 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 which is something that I feel that is not quite healthy. Also, if you're much more interested in watching these videos as a day in the life of a young professional i figured that the previous video was not as detailed as today's video well i'm hoping that today's video is going to be detailed but anyways the stupid thing that i did here is that on my way to work as you can see i gave away the money that i was going to use to come back home so my transportation to come back home with was what i gave away here during this whole moment and it never occurred to me that i gave the last money away so at this point in time i did not have cash for transportation to come back home with and it didn't even hit me like because i felt that the person that i gave it to was much more in need of it than myself so by god's grace got to work safely and i was just pretty much having a, a, it was a great morning you know the sun was pretty much shining bright and i was just honestly on productive mode and then finally got to the office i checked in at least this time around i never forgot to book my table so that is a good part i started working on cash flows because one thing about me is i'm a numbers girl and i would rather work with numbers than work with the theoretical things or analysis and all of that so here yeah, i think i was just truly struggling with a little bit of some some because things were just truly not balancing well the numbers were not really making sense so when that usually happens is i always try to like do thorough investigations to actually see like what is the missing element and then if i don't have anything practical if it doesn't make sense if i have an accumulative figure that i cannot figure out what i try to do is that i play around with numbers remove a number put in a number all of that i taught myself how to play sudoku and i guess this is like the most crucial part in my journey because the same skills that i taught myself at a very young age are the sa very same skills that are very much useful in my career so yeah things will not make as you can see my facial expression like i had that i am not here to play i need to figure out what the issue is but at this point in time i had already sent the cash flows through so once i send that i know that the daily operations are on a run okay so yeah i was just pretty much doing thorough investigation here to just actually check if i was not missing out on anything and if everything that caught my eye was things that i had attended to because doing investigations is quite crucial in my career and i feel like i'm just honestly so grateful i feel like in my mind i'm a financial detective and that's literally what i am well mentally but um i think it's just truly nice because i'm a person who loves solving problems that god has created me to be a solutionist i always say this all the time because when people encounter problems they always come to me for solutions and you know what it is because of the holy spirit but anyways at this point in time i still didn't know that i didn't have money on me also side note where i work we don't have any atms around unless if i go to sanson city which is a bit of a walk and considering this day at this point in time i already had an audit meeting in the morning so i didn't really film that because like i said my mind is always on go 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 because there's always so much on my plate so i try to film where i can but at this point in time i did not mention to my colleagues that i didn't have cash on me it was just a thing between god and i where i just came to the realization that dude i don't have anything on me my colleague hit me up and said to me bro let's go get some lunch today lunch is on me do not worry and i was like all right let's go so this was us going out for lunch a while later there was a man playing is it a saxophone no. so we finally got um to fruit lovers market and we got this famous chicken if you work around santon try this chicken it, it yeah bang it bangs right so that's pretty much what we got and the honest truth is that i was told to pick whatever it is that i wanted so i just got some lunch and i also got um some donuts i already had a drink on me because i truly am a big fan of ginger ale i love it with everything in me and i'll show you the brand quite shortly we walked quite back to the office already and we just really needed to push some work usually when we step back into the office it's already lunch time like we go and eat but this time around like i said we are going through an extensive audit and everything is 
crazy deadlines are crazy everything is just going insane so yeah i was just truly showing you the drink at this point in time i was waiting on my colleague because my colleague wanted to submit something quickly so i was just sitting here thinking that we're going to go to lunch quite soon and this is a very drink that i was showing you well i was telling you about earlier on that i truly love but yeah over time i just saw that my colleague is not serious and i surely need to just start working because i too have a lot of pressure and also i just also needed to call other people to just verify certain and things and also work on like some order requests and not only that and just truly really to push some reconciliations in the midst of everything so that i don't have much work to do when i get home because like i did say i am also a student so life lives okay i say this all the time it is tough balancing the two especially when you have a demanding job like i said when my face looks like this then you must make know that the numbers are not making sense something is off somewhere and this is the face that i make to just also notify you well since you're my friend now <laughs> to just show you that something is wrong and there's something that i need to look into so this is what i was doing here and this is like my concentration face like i am on real concentration mode do not disturb me anyways we ended up going out for lunch um to just truly go sit and go eat this is what i got for lunch like i said if you are closer to the mark like try this famous chicken go for lovers it's the best thing ever but um i don't really eat it quite a lot anyways lunch ended couldn't really chill for lunch for that long at this point in time like the holy spirit was just kicking in telling me bro you do not have money and at this point in time i was supposed to have left the office but because it is still audit we just tried to chill a bit my colleague offered to uber me home and it's so crazy because i didn't have cash on me like it's so crazy like this was a conversation between god and i and my colleague just said you know what let me uber you home because plus you have a carry on so yeah don't worry about it like it's just on me and i was like god <sighs> one thing that i can tell you for free god is closer to you more than you think this was me on the uber well in the uber on my way home and it was just honestly so crazy got home and i just dive straight into work and this is my proof of life showing you that i am suffering but anyways that's it bye